Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the calculation for coil selection. So before starting the calculation in Excel sheet, here the data which we need that it is see. So before the calculation for coil selection, here some data we need from the heat load calculation, okay, before the selection of coil. So like uh, written air dryable temperature, then we need the fresh air dryable temperature value, then ex, uh, effective sensible heat factor value, okay, which is given. So in our case, just I'm assuming we are considering that written air dryable temperature is 75, 75 degree Fahrenheit, fresh air dryable temperature is 95 degree Fahrenheit. Effective sensible heat factor value, which we have got from the heat load is 0.79 and TR, ton of refrigeration is 30. Dehumidifier CFM 13,500, fresh air CFM 870 and apparatus dew point temperature is 57 degree Fahrenheit. This is, we are considering this situation. Okay, our situation is this. Now some assumption is also there like phase velocity. So always, as per thumb rule also, uh, always phase velocity, we have to take less than equal to 500 FPM. And the chill water entering temperature we have considered 45 degree Fahrenheit, 44 degree Fahrenheit and chill water living temperature is 52 degree Fahrenheit. And number of circuit per ton you have to assume 1 and bypass factor I have taken 0 0.12 means 12%. Okay, bypass factor the air which does not touch the coil and enter into the room that is called as a bypass air. So that cons uh, I am just assuming here 12% air will bypass. Okay, because as per AHRI, Air Conditioning Heating Refrigeration Institute, bypass factor always we have to consider uh, 10 to 15%. So I have taken average value here. Some detail you will get from the manufacturer catalog, like uh, metal resistance value. Uh, here we are just considering in our situation 0 0.025 per BTU. Outside to inside surface area ratio is 18.3 and inside surface 1.2 square feet per row per face area outside surface 22 okay so now let's start the cal calculation in excel sheet so here i have opened the excel sheet so as a designer main target is what try to understand as a designer uh, we need to submit some detail to the manufacturer for coil selection what are that detail first we need to submit the number of rows of coil then we need to calculate the, uh, we need to submit the face area of that coil and uh, dehumidify air CFM value to the manufacturer, okay, for the selection of coil. So here first I will show you how to calculate the number of rows of coil. Here formula is fitted everywhere. To find out the number of rows, here we have a formula. TR, ton of refrigeration value into 12,000 divided by uh, U, overall coefficient, overall heat transfer coefficient value, then LMTT, log mean temperature difference, face area into outside area per row. So uh, this TR value, ton of refrigeration value, you will get from the heat load calculation. So I have told you some data you will get from the heat load calculation. It is written clear here. For equipment selection, we need to find blower, external static pressure and coil selection. So here we are doing the coil selection. So the data which we have got from the heat load estimate is what? Tell me fast. Here I have taken that same. So the return air, fresh air, everything is given here. Okay. Fresh air dB temperature 95. So here just I am writing 95 degree Fahrenheit. Fresh air dryable temperature. Then uh, uh, external static pressure value is also given here. Can you tell me how much? Sorry, effective sensible heat factor ESHF value 0 0.79. So I am writing here. 0.79 and ton of refrigeration 30 dehumidify air cfm value is given 13 uh, 500 okay fresh air 870 so i am writing 13500 fresh air cfm is for our condition is 70 cfm adp apparatus dew point 57 degree Fahrenheit. so this data we have collected from the heat load calculation okay now some we have uh, some things we have to assume assumption phase velocity or uh, like 500 we are taking in our case 
chill water entering temperature is 44 leaving is 52 okay so just write down 44 and leaving temperature 52 then bypass factor in our case we are just assuming 12 percent let okay and some data we have got from the manufacturer side like uh, this one metal resistance value for in our case we are con considering 0 0.025 per btu okay metal resistance value and outside area surface area to inside surface area capital r value is 18.3 in our case okay it is written clear from where you will get this outside to inside surface area see outside surface is 22 square feet per row per face area inside so when you divide both of them you will get 18.3 here i have written the value okay so when you divide now you will get that much clear now now come to our formula to find out the number of row as i told you the first thing is what come here and see ton so ton value you will get from uh, here 30 okay here see i have applied the formula also n26 means this one n26 see from here i have applied okay now the next thing we have to calculate here u value u is what overall heat transfer coefficient so to find out the overall heat transfer coefficient value here we have a formula 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon k naught plus rm plus r by ki okay so k naught is what here k naught is outside film coefficient value so from where you will get the outside film coefficient value from this table can you see here the table number four outside film coefficient k naught value for dry coil based on coil phase velocity you will get the k naught value and their unit btu per r square feet degree fahrenheit so in our case we have assumed phase velocity 500 so for 500 k naught value is 11 okay so remember this thing next thing 11 value you will get the k naught rm metal resistance value uh, this value you will get from the architects uh, sorry from the manufacturer catalog 0 0.025 then capital r value is our outside to inside surface area this value also you will get from the manufacturer in our case it is 18.3 then ki value heat transfer coefficient value this ki value you will get from this table number two okay so if you want to calculate the heat transfer coefficient value ki value so first you need to calculate the water velocity inside your tube the water which is flowing at which velocity once you will get the water velocity based on this water velocity here you will get the heat transfer coefficient value is it clear so to find out the uh, water velocity through tube here we have a formula can you see here water flow it is written here water flow into 1.2 fps uh, feet per second divided by number of circuit okay so number of circuit per ton always we have to assume one so here we have a total 30 tons so 30 number of circuit we have to consider okay now the question is water flow value from where we get so what of to find out the water flow value here we have a formula into 12,000 divided by 500 into living water temperature minus entering water temperature so when you put all each and every value like living water temperature already we have assumed uh, how much 52 entering 44 so when you put this value now here I have taken the formula can you see here so when you put you will get the 90 GPM uh, water flow once you will get the water flow put this value here uh, so you will get the water velocity 3.6 FPS so now you have to come you have to prefer the table number two see 3.6 means it is around 4 fps for 4 fps heat transfer coefficient value is 72 720 so in our case ki value we have to consider 720 now put all the value finally you will get the overall you uh, heat transfer coefficient value 7.1 see the formula is applied here okay now next thing we have to calculate the log mean temperature difference value okay so to calculate the log mean temperature difference value here you have to use this formula gtd minus ltd divided by log base e gtd divided by ltd gtd is what here greatest temperature difference ltd is least temperature difference now if you want to find out the greatest temperature dif difference value so see the formula is written here gtd is equal to db mix means uh, 
the db mix db mix means what yeah you have any idea so db mix mean on coil temperature you need to calculate the on coil temperature minus living water temperature so living water temperature already it is given here see 52 on coil temperature how to calculate to calculate the on coil temperature or entering air temperature here the formula is written can you see this formula see the formula is written here fresh air cfm into fresh air temperature plus return air cfm into return air temperature divided by supply air cfm so these all value we have got we have taken from the heat load calculation when you put this all value you will get around 76.29 this is your entering air temperature so once you will get the db mix or entering air temperature value 56.29 and uh, leaving water temperature value is given here see 52 that i have taken here 52 so you will get the gtd greatest temperature difference value 24.3 okay db mix on coil temperature minus living water temperature so it is around 24.3 now same way to calculate the ltd least temperature difference value same way again we have a formula here dry belt living air temperature minus entering water and temperature db living air temperature means off coil temperature to calculate the off coil temperature here the formula is written simple db mix minus 1 minus bypass factor db mix in minus adp so here we have got off coil temperature 58.9 so here i have written 58.9 okay 58.9 degree fahrenheit now whatever you have got just apply the formula i think when you apply the formula now so it is 59.3 something it is coming this is your of coil temperature okay remember this thing after that uh, entering water temperature is we have taken we have assumed 44 degree Fahrenheit so when you put the value you will get the least temperature difference once you will get the greatest GTD or LTD when you put this formula in this equation in this formula you will get 19.46 uh, this is your log mean temperature difference value okay in this way we have to calculate now face area so to calculate the face area of coil you can see here the area so we know that a uh, dehumidifier air cfm divide by face velocity 500 13500 divided by 500 so here we have got the coil face area 27 square feet okay then finally outside area per row it is given here which you have got from the manufacturer side 22 square feet per row per face area when you put this formula C22 I have written here so we have got number of rows 4.4 okay you can see this is our coil in this case the coil uh, rows is showing 4 4 means means see 4 number of rows here we have now 1 2 3 4 okay so it is showing 4 so near about consider as a 4 number of coil as per our situation okay so in this way we have to calculate the number of rows and face area how to calculate that also i have explained you and then finally we need to submit the dehumidifier cfm value and uh, one more thing we need to submit to the manufacturer is total air cfm value okay so to calculate the total air cfm value uh, dehumidifier cfm plus 12 percent of dehumidifier cfm you will get the total air flow value so these are the detail which we need to submit to the manufacturer for coil selection so I hope all of you enjoy this session. See you in next one.